Hi Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for your support and if you're new here, welcome. So this reading is for those of you who are in separation from someone you feel a strong connection with, whether that's twin flames or soulmates, whatever label you want to put on it, then this reading's for you. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest, or it's general. Some of you have been taking time out to heal, just meditate, think about your future, your happiness. Some of you have a Pisces on your mind or Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Some of you have been through a breakup. Okay, we've got the sun at the bottom of the deck, so yeah, happiness is kind of where you want to get to, but some of you aren't quite there. Wow, sun and moon. So there's a soulmate on your mind, Leo or Pisces. And someone walked away. There might have been some deception or an argument between you both. So you're a bit up and down at the moment. Okay, well we've got your energy here strongly coming through. Fire. So needing to be quite strong at the moment. <clears throat> um, yeah, I, I kind of got a knot in my throat just then. So some of you went through something quite difficult. It would kind of hit you. That's what I'm getting. That's the energy I'm getting. Um, kind of came out of nowhere. Could have been this deception I was picking up on. So some of you are starting again with the magician, trying to mater make something materialise. Um... Gemini Virgo energy. We've definitely got a single energy here. Nine of Pentacles. Um, you could be focusing on a business. Maybe you've started a business with that magician as well. Um, but focusing on your happiness, yeah, is what I'm getting there. Um, now, there could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces on your mind, or they're just around you, and you're kind of spying on them. It could be this person you've had this breakup with, potentially, or it's just the person you're in separation with, you know, take what resonates here. Some of you are learning something new, you're having new ideas for a new business venture keeps coming through there um, and this is the energy I was getting for you when I was meditating before and um, kind of just going within meditating listening to your heart chakra there's someone at a distance from you again we've also got Aquarius Libra Gemini there there could be communication coming in as well so let's clarify the magician. Yeah, definitely an energy that you've moved on from something that just wasn't um, 
didn't make you feel grounded. That's what I'm hearing. The communication was a bit all over the place between you and this person. And one of you changed. I feel it was you. I feel you changed. And you just realised this isn't for me. That's what I'm hearing. This isn't for me. Wow, so we've got the Page of Swords again. So there's someone else on your mind. Dark-haired person, potentially, who you might be checking out online or communicating with online. There was definitely a loss that some of you had um, that made you be single. You might have lost some money and there could be some people around you who are kind of gossiping, let's say. And just ignore those people, okay? Because they're seeing it as, you know, something that happened quite abruptly, is what I keep getting. They're seeing you as happy and wanting to know why. Well, it's none of their business, is it? <laughs> Sagittarius. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, this is you. Doesn't matter if you're male or female. You're focusing on building something. Yeah. So some of you are. You're building a business, I feel. Or a home. You know, take what resonates. Or you want to build something. There's someone you're thinking of, definitely. Yeah, now this communication could bring an important revelation to you. Something comes to light. I feel it's someone, something someone tells you. And it gives you hope. Right, some of you find out that this person in your mind is now single. That's what I'm getting there. You find out online. Yeah. The lawyer at the bottom of the deck. Divorce. Separation. Now it could be you as well. Okay. Take what resonates. But that's what I'm getting there. So let's see this other person's energy. You're getting Leo energy. Scorpio. Cancer. Capricorn, Pisces, Aries. person's working they're doing very well for themselves they've gone through a change five to a six they're kind of coming out of a difficult period I feel just working on themselves yeah so there's definitely a single energy here alone thinking carefully um, about what they want, see, trying to see things differently, definitely focusing on their finances and balancing their emotions. This person's been a little bit off balance, focusing too much on other people, you know, especially around the holidays, and now they're kind of coming back into their own balance they could be moving the cancer card here but they're um, moving forward they're, again the balance the yin and yang here this is especially from now until the end of the month that I see this person really just becoming a lot more aligned 
Um, okay, and they might rush in and communicate with you. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini might be quite quick. Here's the scales. Notice that. I was saying about the balance. When they find their balance, they come in. But someone may walk away. They may self-sabotage as well um, themselves. I'm getting it sort of a bit without tact, the way this person does this. They kind of just realise something. Um, sorry, that's gone a bit, it's a bit wonky this week, guys. <laughs> um, okay, so let's clarify the hanged man. Yeah, they've been stuck for quite some time. Could have been in their head that they felt stuck um, and a bit weak. But then they move on. Yeah, they might have been in a connection for a very long time. Again, I'm getting travel uh, moving. Could be Twin Flames with Journey. Yeah, so they walk away from someone. So only getting here, they could be blonde, potentially. We've got cancer there. Okay, so yeah, as I said, it could be without tact, this communication, because there could be a fight, quarrel between you both. Someone doesn't trust the other person. There could have been some betrayal in the past that comes up. So it's kind of not the right time. That's what I'm feeling here. Yeah, they could be immature. Um, could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Quite good with their words, but some of you don't fall for it. And there's that balance card again. They miss you. This is the thing. <laughs> they do miss you. Um, and they, I, I feel it comes out skewed. Okay, that's why there's that fight. Comes out the wrong way. Wow, and this came out below the King of Wands. Sincere friend, Queen of Wands. So they are sincere. Okay, that's what I'm getting there, um, and it's a good, a good couple potentially. So let's get um, an outcome for you, Sagittarius. Okay, so victory, things are going to work out for you. Good news on the way. Um, you might have had some addictions or someone who was holding you down, but, you know, we got that six of swords here. It comes out again here. So a lot of you are moving on from a time, from a connection that was just not balanced. They could have been quite mani manipulative. You want to move towards your Four of Wands, your happiness. Twin Flames here with 11-11. Uh, this is commitment. And things are going to turn around for you. Big rebirth in your life. Okay, after you've moved on from this situation. Scorpio, Capricorn energy. So let's see the outcome for this person. Mm. 
Wow, so they got the magician that you got. They want a new beginning. Definitely. Yeah, they want to commit. Gemini Virgo. Two fours, yeah. L focusing on stability. You've got a four as well. You're both protected by angels at the moment. Um, they haven't let go of you. I'm getting Aries energy here. They haven't let go of you. You may go towards them with an offer. Or well, they could be them that comes towards you. And this is quite a a big um, shock, <laughs> let's say, is what the word I'm getting, um, to the system. They're cutting someone out of their life, I strongly feel. So if that isn't you, that's someone else. And there's more air energy here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, this is like um, a separation they're going through. So there's not really um, action at the moment. There's a change in you and this person is moving on and coming out of something, separating, but it's not really much action between you both. That's what I'm feeling here. Okay, let's get um, some Romance Angels for you, Sagittarius. Yeah, pay attention to the red flags, first of all. Okay, um, with that devil. Okay, so you might be tempted, <laughs> um, you know, by someone you're with at the moment or someone else. Just pay attention to those signs. And you've got getting to know each other. Okay, could be children involved here. For some of you, it, it never really got off the ground. So that's why you need to get to know each other. That's what I'm getting. It was like a tower moment for you both. Someone just bolted. So let's get to for this other energy. Wow, so they got let go of control issues, which goes with the devil here. Yeah, trying to notice here is controlling someone with strings. So they need to let go of that and let things flow naturally. Could be a child involved, I keep getting. Um, and they need to heal and release the past, forgive, in order to be more present. Okay, this could be for you as well. But I feel it's like both of you have been through something and need to forgive and heal from that. Let's get a shared energy. Okay, wow. So yeah, there could have been some deception in the past. And we had that pay attention to the red flag. Could have been this other person. So they may not be very honest with you still, hiding stuff. Um, or this could be from the past and this is what you both need to forgive and heal from. Okay, but we got this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. So I feel it's about being able to heal things that happened, not be stuck in that past energy, be in the present moment. Um, of course, talk, but don't um, don't get too bogged down with with what happened in the past. Okay, as long as they obviously justify, you know, themselves. Or it could be you. Okay, let's get some wisdom of the oracle to finish.
Oops. That flew on the floor and <laughs> managed to catch that. So, exchanging gifts, first of all. Okay, so they may bring you a gift. Um, this comes as a surprise, because notice this dancer coming out the box. Comes as a surprise. A lot of you won't expect it. We've got a cat here. So that's telling me a lot of you need to focus on self-love. Focus on yourselves. Because you've got a new life coming. Yeah, rebirth. This really goes, doesn't it? With this rebirth. In fact, both of these, quite interesting. Notice they're both kind of kind of popping out almost, you know. Um, a very new energy what I'm, is what I'm feeling here. And there's someone there on your mind. So when you're reborn, they're still there. They've kind of, they've been a part of your awakening, this other person on your mind, okay? 39 equaling a 12, 3. So yeah, balancing mind, body, spirit. Okay, Sagittarius, so I hope this reading has resonated. Um, if it has, please do comment. I hope you'll click the like button as well. Sending you all lots of love. Thank you again for your support and I'll see you soon.